my beautiful Scorpios, welcome to First Eye Visions, the Blackout series. This is also the Back to Dark Matter series. I wanted to uh, tap into the energy. It is Wednesday hump day. A drear, drear. I hope you all have been getting over the hump of this. This very. Uh, this has been a very. Um, lethargic energy for me but I've been working through it I've been navigating through it I don't I don't ever stay down I get up you know I stay up I, I do things to keep my energy going even when I feel really low you know so I wanted to get a reading out um when my energy was on a high I don't ever like pushing videos out just for the sake of pushing videos out because I do feel like we got to give the energy a time for it to sort itself out and so I don't want to be redundant. I don't want to just do readings. This is not just for, you know, views. This is literally, this is for the help. I want you all to receive whatever jewels, gems you need. Um, but in giving you this information, you also can't be flooded, you know. So I want to give you time to, to navigate and work through and sort through whatever it is that you got to, um, that you have to. Um, I welcome anyone that may be new. Uh, my name is Q. I uh, too am a Scorpio. I am also empathic. Channel messages intuitively. And I am clear audience. So I do incorporate music into the readings. That's why you may hear it and playing in the background. And what we find is that the music and the tarot cards and the messages that I'm downloading intuitively all tend to blend beautifully. So um, right now what we have playing is Puff Daddy featuring Big Sean, Travis Scott. This is called Working. Um, and what he says in the hook is, don't bother me, I'm working. So a lot of you all might be on some do not disturb my groove because you could be working really hard towards a specific goal. Um, you could be in classes right now taking exams. Some of you all could be studying um, you're just in a very studious energy, very busy energy, and there's a goal that you are embarking upon and you don't want to be bothered. Uh, you don't want to be distracted. You're not allowing yourselves to be distracted by the distractions. Um, you put, may have your phone on do not disturb right now. Um, you may have your phone on airplane mode, like literally you're on some some grinding right now. You're really grinding towards a specific goal. Maybe you're trying to meet deadlines at your place of employment and you are really hitting the ground running with that. And so you're kind of like blocking out any potential dates that may be coming in offers to go out, hang out, go to concerts. You're just like, nah, I can't right now. I'm busy. I just get this energy of someone being very, you know, very busy, super busy and super focused. You know, this is that that eye of the tiger mode, you know, so um, some of you all could be dealing with that. You know, uh, maybe you're dealing with children who are, you know, right now going through uh, their own, um, you know, testing. You know, we're about to close out the school year. So perhaps you're dealing with your children and trying to get there. Uh, paperwork straight maybe some of them you found um, that they're falling behind and there's a chance they could get left behind um, or left back and so you're scrambling trying to help them so that they can meet their goals maybe you're looking into getting a tutor for them to help them um, you know pass that test so that they could pass to the next grade um, maybe there's, you know, a threat of having to go to summer school. So you're just kind of working those things out. I just get a sense of being very busy. You know, even if you're busy, like I said, at work, some of you all could be busy in your homes. Um, you know, trying to get the energy right in your homes. Maybe you're redecorating. Maybe you're doing some feng shui. Maybe you're decluttering, getting rid of the old, making room for the new, um, but there's a very busy energy there um, that I'm picking up on. Um, so, yeah. So let's go ahead, delve in. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Um, you know, I like to start the readings off with the numerology. So that's what we're going to start off with. Um, before we delve into that, let's do some house cleaning. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. 
I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light for my beautiful Scorpio collective. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so won't it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So, beautiful souls. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. So, let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck. We have, what is it? We got healing. So, you all have been healing. Maybe that's what you've been busy doing. You've been busy healing thyself. And in healing thyself, you're learning to love thyself because you know loving yourself is an inside job. And in loving yourself, you begin to know thyself. So now that you know thyself, you know your worth. Right now we have new edition and this is called You're Not My Kind of Girl. And what they say in the hook is, um, sorry, you're just not my kind of girl. You're the kind of girl that a man would be proud to call his own. So it's not that you're not attractive. So maybe some of you feminines are dealing with your divine masculine who could be coming in, but they have to separate or part ways with someone that they've just discovered that that's not a good fit for them. That's not their girl. So they could be, you know, closing out a karmic uh, cycle or maybe some of you feminines, this could be you. Um, saying, you know, to a fella that, you know, this is just not working out. We're not compatible. We've tried everything and it's just not working. We have different belief systems. We have different goals. We have different dreams, different desires. And it's just more of a task than it is, um, you know, the journey that, you know, the love journey or the love story that you were looking for. So there's a sense of departure, departing from someone, um, breaking up. I feel like someone's breaking up or someone's honestly, um, leaving someone behind and they're being, they're being mindful, um, to let this person know that it's, it's just not working out. And I feel like there's going to be some healing necessary. Um, maybe this is your energy, divine feminines, cause the six, six, uh, this is what the, the, the healing card is. It's a blue card that deals with the throat chakra, the expression of one's truth and self um, and desire and not backing down, not being afraid to do that, to say what you feel. The six, six reduces to 12. That's three, the third chakra. So someone's standing in their strength. They're being courageous and they're speaking their truth and saying what it is they truly feel. They're no longer willing to um, mask their emotions. They're no willing, they're no longer willing to, um, put on this facade or put on the show or put on this face. Like everything is cool. They're honest and they're going to be transparent with someone. And I feel like it's because someone has realized, um, their worth. Uh, they've also realized that they have a more, a profound connection with another person because that three is the empress. Uh, someone realizes that they have a true love elsewhere. Or maybe some of you females, the, you divine feminines are realizing you are the empress and that's what's led to you evolving and graduating and ascending into this role of a divine feminine is because you took the time out to heal. Maybe someone rejected your love in the past and that led to you working on you that led to you healing yourself um maybe someone that has rejected you um is realizing that you are actually the one that they want and they are looking to return to you because they see that they, they see your worth they see your value they see how much you have healed how much you have transformed and how much you have changed um, ultimately, and they're realizing and discovering their emotions for you. And now they're trying to muster up the courage to double back because now they seem to understand now what uh, the connection actually means and what it is and who you are to them. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to cut this deck. Um, I said cut the deck, shuffle the deck. So let's see divine spirit of love and light. What do we have coming and going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios? May I have a message of love and of light, beautiful souls. What is the message for my beloved Scorpios? 
So that 6-6 six, six was on the bottom of the deck. I never um, did a split. Okay, so I just had a card fly at me. And it is completion. So you've completed a cycle, absolutely. So someone is completing a cycle or you have just completed a cycle. Being as though this is your reading, I'm feeling this is your energy. So it says completion. Nine is the highest number of change. So you have absolutely changed. And I feel like, you know, you are in a in a hermit mode. You are in that space where you are assessing, where you are observing um, your circumstance overall, your life, your journey, um, your situation, your dreams, your goals. Like you're, you're doing a full um, investigation, um, reflecting back on what you've experienced, what you've, in, what you've endured in your former relationships, friendships, love ships, connections, um, and, you know, even your, your, your work dynamics, what you want even out of uh, your career or what you wish to pursue in terms of your dreams and your aspirations. So there is this pause, this moment to reflect, and I feel you're doing just that. And in doing this, you've discovered who you truly are. Um, and this has made you very mindful to set boundaries as necessary and to also um, not allow anyone to distract you or disturb you off your path. Excuse me, or from your past. I had to sip a little water here. So we have um, John Legend, and this is called Let's Get Lifted. Um, so I definitely feel like there is a, an ascension, as I said, and we have 40 forgiveness on the bottom of the deck. Um, and I feel this completion card that just jumped out at me, um, is more of like a bonus message. So the divine is letting you know that you have in fact completed a cycle, um, and you have ascended with let's get lifted. Um, I feel like you've, you know, there's been some sort of, um, Whatever block or whatever was blocking you, I feel like it's being lifted. I feel like if there's been something delaying you, um, the delay is going to be lifted. Like, I just feel like there was something that needed to be worked on before you could take steps forward or forth um, towards your goal. Uh, with forgiveness, maybe you learn to forgive yourself or you learn to forgive someone Um in the interim but let's go ahead let's continue shuffling and then we're going to cut the deck so this completion the divine is absolutely saying you've completed a cycle so let's see cut the deck three times uh, spirit of love and light what messages you have for my beloved scorpios scorpios i'm going to be doing i think i'm going to do i don't like to talk about what i'm going to do because sometimes when, you know, that time approaches, um, my energy uh, proves otherwise. Like, you know, but um, what I am hoping to do, looking to do is a live. Um, I want to start connecting with you all on a live stream um, just so, you know, we can really get the energy going. Maybe I can answer a couple of questions uh, that some of you all may have. Um you know, maybe I'll I'll choose a couple of you all during the live and we could um, get some messages for you all. But that's what spirit told me to do today is do a live. So I may do that. So we have music. So music is playing and we got Lauren Hill playing right now and it's lost ones. So with lost ones, someone definitely lost you. Someone realizes they lost someone very special. Someone lost um, a rare breed. You're just like a rare find. You're someone very um, unique, um, very different from the rest. I feel like you stand out from the rest. You have some sort of star quality or some sort of skills. Um, you're just very, um, you know, very regal, royal. And this person appreciates and um, is you know, almost like regretting something, you know, with lost ones, I do feel like this person has lost you. Um, with music, I do feel that some of you all are musicians, or maybe there's someone who's listening to music, realizing they've lost you, um, realizing that they have somehow um, made a, a terrible mistake, you know, uh, they wanted to com they want to communicate with you, but I feel like they're trying to muster up their strength to do so. Um, this is someone that you have, um, 
you have not communicated with in a while. I feel like you have blocked this person out because we did have um, your energy earlier saying that you was very guarded. You was like kind of like in an energy where you were working on yourself. You were, you know, doing some some internal work um, in that, you know, hermit mode. But you're also uh, very much mindful of who you have around you at this time. So this is someone that you've potentially put on time out that you've disconnected um, from or separated from, or you may have, you know, had someone who could have rejected you in the past and now they're regretting that. Maybe they realize um, in your absence just how special this connection actually is. So let's see. So we got a couple of cards. So someone is definitely seeing you as very uh, beautiful, uh, very wise. You know, you are someone very wise. And I feel like they want to they want to rush towards you because they, they've had some sort of epiphany here. Um, 88 just flew out um, for how they feel about you. And their energy is music, so they could potentially be listening to music. The overall energy was the completion card that jumped out. It chose itself. That was like a bonus. So I do feel like someone does listen to music and it just makes them think of you. This message has come out several times. So some of you all could either be musicians or maybe you all share the same um, affinity, you know, towards the same type of music, same genre of music. Maybe you have a say a favorite song you share together. Uh, but someone's listening to music and they're realizing the abundance of love, the 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 magnitude of love they have for you. Um, the attraction they have for you and they desire to rush in towards you because this eight eight uh, flew out for your energy, which is the abundance. This is an all pink card. So I do feel there's a lot of emotional um, connectivity here between you and this person. Uh, but I also feel like you all are um, each other's wish fulfillment. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. Absolutely. Uh, undubitably they do. Uh, but they also are trying to figure out how to come towards you because you are giving off this energy um, like you're very busy um, because we did have that energy of you like being in a very studious what was that song that was playing earlier um, it was um, Puff Daddy don't bother me I'm working and so it's like you are um, very focused in right now uh, and so this person's trying to figure out how to approach you because that's uh, eight, eight reduces to 16, which is seven. So I do feel like that seven is saying like that's someone is in this hermit mode. They're trying to find balance, equilibrium, but they're always also trying to find out how, you know, how to assert themselves to approach you, to come towards you. Um, this is definitely someone who has um, desire to communicate, um, someone who thinks about you, dreams about you often. Uh, they may see your face so vividly in their dreams. And then when they wake up, it's just like, damn, it's just like, you know, they feel heartbroken. Um, but this person is trying to manifest you. Uh, they do see you as someone that is like a wish fulfillment. I do feel this this is someone you have history with because I'm also getting like the seven of pentacles. So this is someone that you have absolutely like planted seeds and roots. Maybe you know this one, this person from, you know, um, th there's just a sense of familiarity. Let's just say that. Um, and so I feel like this person's trying to figure out how to reapproach you. Um, because as I said, I was getting a sense of someone like rejecting you, especially with the uh, Lauren Hill, um, lost ones, you know, playing. So someone definitely is, um, you know, almost looking at themselves because remember we had, um, new, addition, new addition saying, you're not my kind of girl. So they were kind of breaking up with someone else and it's because they realized that you were their empress or you are their emperor. So we have communication here for what's hidden. So do expect communication from someone that you have not heard from in a while. Um, I do feel like this is someone who feels like you are their divine counterpart. This is the epiphany they had. I feel like a song may have made this clear to them. Uh, because we have 32 and on this card, it's an orange card, but it's yellow on the inside. The um, 33, which is communication, uh, is all yellow. So we got 32 and 33. So this 33 is the throat, uh, is the first eye, excuse me, the first eye chakra. So I feel like this person um, is, you know, trusting their intuition now using discernment in terms of how to approach this. Um, 
they're listening to their own intuition, their own inner gumption, opposed to perhaps listening to naysayers and, and, and people around them that may have been uh, like negative Nancy's Debbie Downers. Um, I do feel this person is coming into this epiphany or having some sort of illumination about this connection, about their feelings towards you and about the magnitude of um, their feelings towards you. And I feel there's going to be um, unexpected communication. I do feel this person sees you as the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. They see you as someone that is their divine counterpart because this is like the six lovers. So they will communicate this to you. Um, I feel you bring a lot of happiness and joy to this person. I feel when they're around you, they feel sh this sense of strength. They feel capable. They feel like you, um, you give them this charge, this zest, you know, you make them excited about life. You give them the, those butterflies again. Um, you make them feel youthful again, you know, and they enjoy the conversations. They enjoy, um, you know, sitting down and having those builds with you. Um, they feel that you're highly uh, intelligent and strong. They see you now. It's, it's, it's a sense of they didn't see your worth in the past, uh, maybe because they were still dealing with residual feelings uh, from an ex, a karmic. And so they were trying to be um, loyal to that connection, but they can't deny it because every time they uh, turned around, there was a message. There was a download. There was a transmission through a song, through the music that they was listening to, which reminded them of the abundance of love that they had for you, the blessing um, that you actually were and how much you fulfilled them emotionally, mentally, as well as spiritually. They also see you as someone who's very successful, who's also a co-creator, a star, a magi. You set intention. You're a master manifester. You make things happen. They see you in a completely different light. And this is something that they truly admire. They have this affinity and this admiration towards you and adoration as well. Um, right now we have uh, Jay-Z featuring Notorious B.I.G. And this is called uh, Brooklyn's Finest. Um, so I do feel like they find they feel that you're the finest. Um, I just felt like earlier they, they look at you like you're a rare breed, like you're just unique. You're rather unique compared to the rest. On the bottom of the deck is 66 again healing. So they realize that you know, through you healing yourself, it has changed their whole perspective of you. It's like they see you in a completely different light because you're now loving yourself. You're practicing self-care. You're initiating the self-discipline. So you're focused on self-respect, self-worth, self-value. You know who you are now. And that 6-6 six, six is proof of that because that reduces to 12, which is 3. So you have emerged and ascended into the divine feminine. And remember, we had the song, um, you know, Let's Get Lifted by John Legend. And it was saying, you know, and I was saying how this person has, you know, you've ascended. You've like grown into this role. So this person sees your growth. And that's what they admire most is the healing that you've done on yourself. And in being around you, they know that they can be healed as well. It's almost like they're watching you from afar, from a distance. Um, and there's this desire to communicate. There's this desire to apologize. There's this desire to repair, to reconnect, to reconcile. Um, and I do feel like there's this, this, um, there's going to be a, 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 some sort of action taken. They do want to reconnect because that three is also, like I said, like, you know, it could be like the three of cups energy, you know, reuniting, um, reconciliating. Um, but it's also someone wanting to and willing to come back to work together, to collaborate, uh, to um, build some sort of alliance or some sort of um, fellowship. Uh, so let's see. What's the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of love and light, divine spirit. What is this message? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have compassion. And so what flew out is 66 healing again. I can't make this up. Let me just show you. I got to show you. 66 healing and I just literally had it in my hand and it flew right back out so this 66 is what they want that's the outcome the outcome is that there's going to be a healing whenever I see double numbers and we have two of them the 8 8 and the 6 6 the 8 is the um it's justice 
You know, it's the justice card. So I do feel like you're going to receive karmic justice in a situation where you were wronged in the past. So it's like the divine is working things out in your favor. But I also feel that's um, the star card. So someone sees you as a star. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment. Someone sees the healing. You know, the star has turned her vulnerabilities into a superpower and she's bared her soul or he's bared his soul so that he can do the necessary work to find that emotional equilibrium to release what no longer serves them and so as to build themselves up to learn to be the conduit of change and to transmute the pain and turn it into power therefore that's what this person and you you're both embodying that same energy they see you as this and this is what they're being inspired to do so now the outcome is the six six the six deals with the lovers so this person is looking at you as someone that is their cosmic companion someone that they do feel there is a soul tie or some sort of past life connection or some sort of chemistry or some sort of synergy that the two of you share and it's something they cannot deny because there's this magnetism which pulls them to you and with this six six as i said it breaks down to 12 which is three they're Oh, they're they're extremely um, attracted to you. Um, they see just how beautiful, how regal, royal. Um, they see this 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 air of confidence and strength. They see this nurturing quality, this this maternal or paternal quality. They see how powerful and strong you are. Um, how loving and domestic you can be how grounded and down to earth and how much of a healer you are you you make a house a home you make them feel like i said like extremely happy and elated and bliss to be in your presence so this person now and you there's this aha moment that first eye is wide open so now they know to trust their intuition to trust with their higher self is telling them and that is that you're the one um the divine is reminding um you to have compassion in regards to this situation um nine nine compassion reduces to nine again uh, as i said that is the highest number of change maybe this is something that you have um learned to um to show is compassion uh to not judge to not hold on to any type of resentments or animosity but to just have a more forgiving heart because you've learned that we're all humans and we're going to make mistakes and we're going to do things that we're not so proud of but as long as we're doing the work we could always grow we could always heal and so you're showing compassion because you're being more forgiving now and you also are focusing on the love the light the joy you're in a more higher uh, vibration so you're not just in this space where you're being a victim or you're victimizing others you're looking at things from a higher perspective from um, a deeper more profound pers perspective and so I do feel here um, that there is this sense of you showing the love to those who are in need of it right now because I feel like you have become a healer yourself you know every great healer has to first heal themselves and I feel like that's something that you have done and now you're helping someone else to heal themselves and so they're going to start doing the work um, underneath this is new beginnings and then I see manifestation so there's absolute um, a blessing um, there is something that you have been manifesting um, I do feel it is in regards to, like I said, someone from your past returning. And this is giving you an opportunity to have a brand new start. I hear a fresh start. No, oh, excuse me with someone. I got the hiccups. Excuse me. Give me one moment. So let's see what we have. So we have, what do we have? My little suede shoes. This is by Charlie Parker. So maybe some of you all are like shoe shopping. Maybe you found some shoes. 
Um, I'm hearing don't let anybody walk all over you. And we got Carnucopia here on the bottom of the Energy Oracle deck. On the split, we got the sun. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. And I want to show you the split because you need to see that because that's just nothing but it's like golden. Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. That's what I see here when I see that. All this gold. And that's what the communication card also shows is this beautiful golden color. And that's why I felt, I felt like somebody sees you as sunshine. You know, it's just like you're like sunshine in their life. You know, but with this, my little um, suede shoes, somebody's coming toward you. Um, I feel like somebody's walking into your life. You know, somebody is entering into your life um, and they're going to bring happiness and joy. I feel like you all are also being blessed by the divine with this carnucopia. That's like that blessing, that wish fulfillment. Remember, you also have abundance here as how this person sees you. So I do feel like you're emotionally fulfilled. You're going to also be financially fulfilled, blessed. Um, there's just like you're being recognized. You're being rewarded for things that you have you know, have done in your past, you know, for this healing that you've had to do, you know, for, for healing at a soul level, you know, for also implementing, you know, the act, you know, the art of forgiveness, you know, forgiving, you know, not only yourself, but others for the wrong that they've done to you. And that's just, you know, um, reason to be rewarded. You know, I felt like you were receiving uh, karmic justice as well, you know, because whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like you and your divine counterpart, your cosmic companion, that kindred spirit, that twin flame, that soulmate, whatever you want to call it, you and that person are mirroring one another. And this person is strategizing a way to come towards you. They're wrapping up a cycle with this 21 I see here. And we have man holding a heart on the split. So there is someone that is wrapping up a cycle, but they are uh, being very strategic in how to come towards you. Because as I said in the beginning, you are coming off or giving off this energy like you're very busy. Um, very guarded. Um, you're on some do not disturb my groove. And so they're trying to honor that while also uh, coming in uh, intentionally. Um, this is someone that is at a distance. They also feel this, you know, emotional distance from you. And so they want to they want to change that. You know, this person has uh, feels like you have the key to their heart. Um and I'm hearing that song, owner of a lonely heart, much better. So I feel like this person knows that you're like, you, 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 you know, that you have been single for a while um, and they want to change that. You know, like they really want to come towards you because they, they're coming in intentionally because they do have the key. They feel like they have the key to unlock your heart. Um, and we have D'Angelo one more again. So this is someone remember underneath compassion. We had new beginnings. So this is someone who wants another chance. They want to have another go at this love. This is someone that loves you dearly. And this is someone um, that is wrapping up a cycle. I feel because that nine, that 45 man holding a heart is reducing the nine. So they're making some big changes to come towards you, to let you know how they feel, to let you know that their feelings are real. So let's see what we have coming in for my beloved Scorpios. Let's get a message from our energy oracle deck. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck is the overall energy. So we have anxiety and this is clarifying completion. And this is also 18. 18 reduces to 9. Completion is a 9 card. Let me show you just so you can see what I'm saying here. So we have this 18 and then we have 9. So those are both 9s. So this is an end. The divine is saying you're completing and wrapping up a cycle where you've been up in your head or someone is wrapping up a cycle where they've been up in their head, stressed out, agonizing over a situation. This is like ruminating, pining, arguments, fights. This is overthinking. And this is self-imposed because you have the power to walk away. We all have free will. But this nine is saying that this anxious, this, this, this moment of anxiety and stress and aggravation is it's done, done, fin. It's completion. It's a completion of that type of energy, a heavy energy. Bottom of the deck, we got envy. So they are dealing with someone or you are dealing with someone who is closing out a cycle with someone who's very jealous, who's very envious. With their 32 music, someone is realizing 
Um, perhaps I'm hearing the term sleeping with the enemy, sleeping with someone who is not necessarily on their team, but someone who is on opposition. They're an op. So I feel like this is someone who is having some sort of wake up call. And when they listen to the music, it's like it lets them know something just isn't right. They're dealing with someone who could be two faced, who could be like um, a double talker, like somebody who's a gift to gabber, somebody who keeps them confused and it's out of jealousy and envy. They don't want them to um, leave. They don't want them to um, move on. So I do feel like this is somebody who just really, um, is deceptive. This is a very deceptive energy and very self um, absorbed type of energy and not and negative. And I feel someone's angels and guides are giving them, you know, some sort of download. So the music, because we have community underneath this deception, I mean, underneath this envy card here. And so I feel like somebody's receiving messages from their, their angels and their guides through the music because we're about to clarify 32 music. So I feel like someone is receiving download because this seven is the crown chakra. So someone's receiving downloads and they're receiving downloads like, look, you need to move on. You need to bolt your ass up out of there because this person that's envious, you can never be with somebody who's in a competition with you. You know, you can't be with someone who's just jealous and envious and just someone who's not rational. Um, so this person is getting the downloads they're hearing music it's waking them up slowly but surely and I feel like they're going to move forward towards what they truly desire because now they realize they've had that illumination and clarity um, that they desire something more out of a relationship that someone is just not their type of girl or their type of guy according to new edition and they're looking for something new they're looking for someone that they're equally yoked with so let's see why is this 32 here music for my beloved scorpios for the person that they are attracting so we have the thinking man so this is someone, what did I say about this person trying to strategize a way in, trying to figure out how to come towards you? This is the number 46. So they're strategizing a way to come in after an ending. But they know before they come towards you, they're going to have to do some work on themselves because they see how much work you've done on yourself and they know you are intolerable uh, or in, you have a no policy, no toler. How do you say that? You have um, a lack. You don't tolerate the nonsense let's just say it like that but you're intolerable to the the nonsense so that's why they're working on themselves before they come toward you before they um you know come in for uh that reunion if you will um we have 41 uh also flew out uh we have 49 also flew out and we have blossoming abundance so this 41 is clarifying how they see you and that is as the divine feminine that is highly psychic highly intuitive clairvoyant this is the seventh chakra archangel uriel and this 88 reduces to seven so i feel that this person knows just how intelligent intuitive you are and that's why they're strategizing because they know they can't just rush in and you know without uh you know a plan a game you know some sort of plan i don't want to even call it a game plan because you don't play no games so they know they have to come in intentionally is a better word a better way i feel like you know someone is preparing to communicate with you uh because the 41 um reduces to five and the seven you know this eight eight which is seven you know your wish fulfillment is near you could sense it you know look how she's looking up into the sky as if she's preparing or bracing herself for something to come so it's like this eight eight it's like you're preparing for a wish fulfillment for a blessing from the divine because you've ascended like i said to this role i feel you have a lot of angels that have been giving you these downloads have been blessing you with these divine interventions and i feel like there's something beautiful you're on the precipice of something new um and there's a lot of changes that are ahead of you we have uh whitney houston million million dollar bill um and I feel like this person sees you as a million bucks, like, you know, you're one in a million is what I'm hearing also. Um, so this person sees that you're one in a million. And this is the epiphany um, that this person has had uh, with 33. We have angel of love flew out. 
So this angel of love is showing me that your angels and your guides have not only been communicating with you, but they've been communicating with this person that's coming into your life. This is what's hidden. Someone's heart is being restored and someone is realizing um, and becoming clear as to as you know, as to the feelings, the emotions they feel. This 49 reduces to 13 and that 13 reduces to four. Four is like the vibration of twin flame. That's the 1111. 11. So maybe you're seeing 1111. 11, maybe this person seeing 1111. 11. This person is also having this desire to communicate because they know that you are their cosmic companion. With Whitney Houston singing Million Dollar Bill, I was picking up on the word million and I feel like this person just sees you as someone that's one in a million because there is this sense of um, them looking at you as, you know, their partner, you know, like they have this the divine union with you. Um, and I feel that there is, you know, divine intervention with this connection as well. Um, I feel the angels have been really working behind the scenes to restore this connection. Um, because maybe this person had a lot of options and they had to test those options out to discover that none of that worked for them. It was you all along. You were the one that was where you was the one that they let slip away. You were the one they rejected. And there's a lot of disappointment and hurt and, re and regret for that. But that's why the divine is saying show compassion. I remember that nine, nine compassion. So that is and we also saw forgiveness also so it's like the divine is telling you forgive someone because remember d'angelo was saying one more again so this is someone very special that has been doing their work that is returning this doesn't necessarily have to be an ex this could be someone that was a friend that you fell out with um you know and maybe there was an interest maybe there was talks of you to um seeing where things go but then this person just ghosted you or this person just kind of flipped the script on you um out of the blue and you just felt like you know betrayed to some degree and so you may have like disconnected from that person or just kind of disengaged altogether and that could have really um that could have really damaged um, the friendship a little bit to the point where there was no communication and maybe this person in returning to that ex, the person that they, you know, were with, you know, that they still was holding these residual feelings, which is why there was in this tug of war emotionally with you. Um, they realized like, nah, I, Scorpio is the person, regardless of me being in a relationship with someone for four, five, six, seven years. Um, Scorpio was all the way, always that person because we had chemistry, we had synergy, we could sit down and communicate about things for hours. You know, we could sit around and laugh. We listen to the same music. It's just like they had all these boxes that you ticked, but the person they was with, um, it was just time, you know, and, 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 you know, you could get back anything, you know, but time. And they feel like they, they, the time they shared with that person, they may appreciate it, but it doesn't even weigh it, it, it you know, on a scale. It's like it, it doesn't even measure up to what it is they had with you. And so that's why New Edition was singing, I'm sorry, you're not my kind of girl, because it's like they've been struggling with this for a while. And even if it's a masculine who's been struggling or a feminine who's been struggling with making a decision between two people, I get a sense of there's this this this, you know, um, choice this this decision that one has to make and they're choosing between two and i feel that they will make the decision to come towards you because they feel that you're their divine feminine their counterpart and so these decisions these this options or whatever um whoever this is like i said i get a sense that this could be potentially be someone that you may have dated but it never got it didn't it didn't get serious this is not someone and maybe for some of you it can be an ex um, you know, maybe, but not a, a, a negative, nasty ex. I feel like this is just someone that you may have had a disagreement, um, and you all just agreed to disagree and you parted ways though. You know, that like, there's no communication, there's nothing. Um, if this is someone that you were in a relationship with, this will, if, if this is your person, the person that's coming in is going to be healed. So that is going to be an indicator of whether or not this reading is for you, because a lot of people say, no, my ex, uh, uh, that nasty motherfucker, you know, and, and it's just like, I'm speaking to the Scorpios 
not only the Scorpios who have done their work, but the Scorpios who have a twin flame soulmate, cosmic companion, kindred spirit, who's also been doing the work. So that is the indicator of whether or not this reading is for you, because this person that's coming in, if this is someone that you um, dated in the past or knew, maybe this was a friend that once and, and you all were, you know, termed lovers, maybe you had a friend with benefits, who knows? This person's been doing their work and you're going to recognize the changes that they've made, just like they've recognized they've recognized the changes you've made. So if you're dealing with you're still dealing with that karmic crazy karmic who's still cheating lying being a master manipulated this is not this that's not this person this is not who i see because who i see is someone who is changing someone who's making a conscious decision to exit a toxic situation to come towards you to be intentional this time to communicate their truth and to show you appreciation love joy and value you the way you deserve so the last card we have is remember we had 66 come out so as i said you're going to be rewarded with this third this is three again look we got six six which is 12 that's three and then the blossoming abundance flew out to clarify it so that's also another three and so what i'm seeing here is it's like the divine is saying that you know, remember, you came out as abundance, you know, with this 8-8 eight, eight card. This is how this person sees you, you know. This is the energy they feel you have is this abundance, you know. And that 8-8, eight, eight, like I said, whenever there's double. And remember, you got the 6-6, six, six, that's double. I feel like that's a message that you two are, share, you know, um, there's this, this mirroring. Um, so with this blossoming abundance, I feel this definitely like there's going to be abundance of love between you and this person because of the healing there's going to be this this growth this new beginning the emergence of this this love story i feel like the divine is saying q scorpio's love interest now into this love story the development of a beautiful love story and i feel like it's going to lead to something um that's that's you know marriage um family you know, you're going to grow. You're going to have a support system, a partner. Um, you're going to have that homie love a friend. You're going to have someone that you could lean on. You're going to have someone that you could collaborate with that's going to be willing to compromise. This is longevity. This is uh, family. This is legacy. This is, you know, planting seeds and yokes. And that's why it's blossoming because this is what's happening behind the scenes. I definitely feel that you all are going to be elated when this person does uh, enter in and, you know, come into your life. So let's go ahead and get some messages from African American Tarot. On the bottom of the deck, we got the Ten of Pentacles. I can't make this up. So this is absolutely going to be like someone that is a family member, someone that is um, without a question, without a shadow of a doubt, Someone that is, you know, looking to come in and plant seeds and roots. This is someone that is, you know, coming in very intentionally. We got the page or the, um, I'm sorry, the Knight of uh, Pentacles along with the, the, the Ten of Pentacles. So that is letting me know somebody is coming in to offer you something real, tangible, you know, an engagement. This is not somebody coming into play. And we have um, the stylistics. And it's called You Make Me Feel Brand New. So this person loves your style. Like I said, they see you as very rare, someone very unique. You just have a very different, you know, aura or energy about yourself. Something that they've never seen before. You know, so they are really coming in. I see this, this, um, this Three of Pentacles. What did I say? They coming in to shoot their shot. Got the Three of Pentacles. So this person watches you too. I feel like this person does watch you from a distance. You see this man you know, up here with the telescope. So I do feel that this person watches you from afar. There is distance, you know, you could have moved away, but they want to, and, and we got the 10 of Pentacles still on the split. So this person realizes how you make them feel. And this is something they cannot deny. Try to deny it, but they can't. The Ace of Pentacles and the 10 of Pentacles. I can't make this up. So somebody, I'm, you all are going to be blessed. Like the divine is giving you some sort of wish fulfillment. I was feeling that. But uh, you definitely have a wish fulfillment. I feel financially you're going to be set as well. Like there's some sort of like opportunity, offer, business, proposition, 
endeavor, you know, uh, maybe you're investing in a business and they're going to see a return in that investment. Maybe some of you all are going to receive some sort of um, pay increase bonus. Um, but there's there's some sort of new beginning financially for you. And so on the bottom of the deck, we got the seven. I'm sorry, um, the card that came out to clarify the nine completion um, and the anxiety is the number seven cups. So this is somebody who was definitely playing a lot of games, had a lot of offers, um, was not being their authentic self, was definitely wearing a mask, as we can see here, and was not being true to themselves. And with this, you make me feel brand new. They're sitting here daydreaming, thinking of you and how you made them feel in comparison to the one that they was with that was causing them stress and anxiety and worry. You know, this person is finally realizing like, damn, you know, Scorpio made me feel brand new. Scorpio made life feel, you know, enjoyable and fun, um, invigorating. And so, you know, this, these options, it could have been fun for a while. But then, you know, when you don't have anything in common with people, it just becomes more of a task, a duty than, you know, uh, uh, something fun to engage in. So I feel like this person kind of got to a point where they couldn't even reveal their authentic selves. They realized like they were being fake and fugazi to themselves. And so all these options, just because you have a lot of options doesn't mean all those options are good options. And that's what this person has come to realize. Um, I feel like this person caused a lot of anxiety and stress in your life because you felt like an option. They didn't really um, value you the way that you deserved. Uh, with this wheel on the bottom of the deck, there is, you know, finally like some sort of opportunity. Something's destined to um, unfold. And this person does feel like you are their destiny. Like this is a destiny type of love. Um, this person is now in this mode where they are strategizing and thinking very deeply about this connection. I feel they listen to songs because you make them feel brand new. There's something about this connection that makes them, you know, feel invigorated, makes them feel rejuvenated. Um, and they, there's something about your style, something about the way you do you. But I do feel like something's coming full circle with this connection. Um, and I do feel like this person is um, a part of your destiny. Like they feel like you are a destiny type of love. And we have Tidra Moses featuring Raheem Divine. And this is called Get Yours. So they feel you're, you're, their one, you're the one. You're the one that got away. So we got two cards that just flew out. And I'm going to put them where they belong. So we got the Ace of Wands. And this is clarifying how this person feels. Remember we had um, 32 Music and the thinking man so they're thinking about how to have this new beginning and remember we had underneath this nine nine compassion card we had the um new beginning so this is your person they have a lot of passion a lot of um sexual attraction towards you as well and this new beginning like i said because that 46 is you know the end of something so they they, they they're getting the downloads necessary you know, that's this that's, you know, encouraging them, inspiring them to, you know, leave a situation that's not fulfilling anymore, you know, because someone's not their kind of girl or someone's not their kind of guy. And so now this is what's leading to a new beginning is them strategizing a plan. This music has encouraged. It sparked something in them. It's illuminated them. And so now they're coming towards you. They're taking action. They're going towards their passion, hoping to grow, to 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 um to rebuild, you know, they've had this illumination and this clarity. The Nine of Pentacles is how they see you. They see you as self-sufficient, independent. You don't need a want for anyone. You know, this is the single person. This is someone who's been single and they've been growing. So you've been very busy, very diligent, and you've managed to get all the way to Nine Pentacles by yourself. And that's why they want to come in and offer you something real, something tangible. And you know this because you could sense it as you know, this, this Archangel Uriel is here. 41 is 5. So you know communication is coming in. This person sees your worth and sees your value. They see how hard you've been working, how much you've been healing yourself. And they also see that you've leveled up, that you've ascended. And you're very wise. The bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Swords. That's why you moved away. Because you knew your worth and value, even if they didn't see it. And you went out and got yours. You didn't cry and moan. And, and, and pout, you went out and worked hard to acquire what you have. That's why we had, you know, that song, um, Don't Bother Me, I'm Working by Puffy, because you have been working very 
very um, studious, like very diligently, very busy. You know, you've been very busy planting seeds and watching them grow, cultivating and harvesting. You know, this is what you've been doing. You've been very busy, very, very focused on um, your mission, you know, very focused on your independence, your self-sufficiency, uh, your, your um, stability. And I feel that's why there's a miracle coming in or some sort of blessing coming in. And you're going to have an abundance of what it is you've managed to cultivate. But you've moved on. This person that's been wearing the mask, you know, they've been watching you. But it's like they also know you've been very guarded. You've been guarded and blocked off from them because you've been focused on your own mission. Like I said, this person knows that you are, um, you know, very in tune, very intelligent. And they do watch you from a distance, but they feel blocked. You know, you, you have blocked them. You're not even looking at them. You're looking past them. But you know they're there because you can see them from your peripheral, but it doesn't stop you from, you know, um, focusing. You're not allow allowing anyone to distract you. So why is 33 communication angel of love here for my beloved Scorpios for what's hidden? And we have the eight of cups. I can't make this up. So this person that you left behind they're being encouraged to come get theirs. They feel like you belong to them. They feel like you're theirs. It says get yours. And remember, we also had communication. Let me bring this card into the equation so you can see the full set, set up. So this is what this person realizes. This is the person you walked away because they was leaving you feeling emotionally bankrupt. And you realize that self-love made you more attractive. You also realize self-love was an inside job and you wasn't going to put up with someone mistreating you. So you focused on loving yourself. This person in your absence realized how much they loved you because they couldn't stop thinking about you. They couldn't stop missing you, you know, and their intuition was really like screaming at them that they need to repair this connection. They want to return and they want to offer you something. This person may watch you. Maybe you do something um, publicly. You may have a social media platform. Maybe you sing. Maybe you have a podcast. Maybe you have your own YouTube, TikTok, or Snapchat, or P Facebook channel, Instagram um, personality, or whatever. And it's like this person is like just growing more and more um, attracted and drawn to you. They feel you're their person, that you're equally yoked with them. This is making them realize just how much they love you. And they feel like... You know, it's time for them to heal from whatever burdens, you know, that they've, um, you know, dealing with. Or maybe, you know, there's this with the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. And we're about to clarify 66 healing and blossoming abundance. That's, you know, this, there's been a lot of wisdom obtained, you know. There's been a lot of wisdom obtained through the, you know, through the experiences, you know, going through a lot, you know. But this is also the reason why this healing is here because... It can be very burdensome to carry not only the, 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 the weight of your problems on your shoulders, but that of other people. And I feel like there was just a lot of lack of reciprocity overall. And that was just very, um, it was very unfulfilling, you know, and it was also uh, just detrimental to your peace and your happiness. And you grew tired and you finally said, I'm done. And so you're healing. And maybe this is what this person is doing also after dealing with someone that was just very rigid and very cold. Or maybe just somebody who was just not on their level. It was very um, taxing on them emotionally. So why is 66 healing and blossoming abundance here? So we have the four of wands. I can't make this up. Four of wands came back out. This is your twin flame. No doubt about it. And we have the two of wands. They're making it. And we got the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So look at this. Let me get this so you can see this. So we got this is what came out. These are the cards that flew out. The four of wands and the two of wands. So this is with the four and the two. That's the six of wands. So that's a victory. This person's coming back for a victory. There's some gonna there's gonna be some sort of breakthrough, but this is also someone that wants to build with you with this ten of pentacles. And there is a hate and ass karmic behind the scenes that this person is breaking free from. This person has been maybe they were in a marriage or they were engaged or they were in some sort of common law relationship where they lived with someone for a number of years and they're really trying to leave. They're making a decision. Because this two of wands. They were stuck at a cross in the road trying to make a decision between two people. And they're choosing you because they see you as their twin flame with this four. 
This four of wands is like the 1111. They want to build with you. They want to grow with you. And this 10 of pentacles is showing that, improving that. This is someone that sees you as someone that they can, you know, have that happy house, happy spouse, that happily ever after with. And this is someone I feel that your angels and ancestors, maybe their angels and ancestors, have been communicating to them who you are to them, you know, who you really are to them. So this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the messages have resonated for you, lovely souls. Um, you do have a twin flame that's coming in, and they are working on healing themselves. They're separating um, themselves from a karmic relationship. Um, and I do feel like it has been toxic. It has been very, very uh, tumultuous for them, but they are moving on. Maybe there were children involved, and that's why they had to separate um, maybe children was a factor. Maybe someone was just healing the inner child or dealing with someone who was very childish. But I do feel like they're going to be rushing in sooner than later. And we have um, we have um, Shine, and this is called Bad Boy. So this person definitely is um, sees you shining, and that's what's drawing them in. Um, I feel this that, that there's this uh, this energy. You're radiating love. You're radiating light. Um, you're exuding this energy that is just drawing them in and there's a magnetism that's pulling the two of you together with this the 33 6 the lovers that is truly like a divine union so i do feel like this is someone that is your cosmic companion someone that sees you as their cosmic companion and they're making a conscious decision decision and effort to come in and i feel like they're going to rush in sooner than you could even imagine let me get one message from my deck um, and then we're going to wrap it up. All right. So my beautiful Scorpios, I love you all so much. And as I said, I will keep you informed as to when this live will take place. The divine wants you to avoid the gossip circles. Whoever gossips to you, gossips about you. So don't get caught up in the gossip. Somebody comes to you with, girl, did you hear? Yo, bro, did you hear? Be like, nah, I don't want to hear it. If I didn't hear it, it wasn't meant for me to hear it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you got, you have to, um, you gotta filter all of that negativity out of your life because you know whatever you you pay attention to, you draw it to you. So what did I say about somebody seeing you as a rare breed? And there it is, rare breed, black sheep, misunderstood, Mister Understood. That's who you were, and that could be why someone you know didn't choose you because maybe you were different you're different you're not the usual type that they go after maybe there's just something different about you and i just saw um build um an emotional relationship over a physical one so maybe this person chose someone because of superficial reasons material reasons maybe they were you know super attractive you know maybe they was just really you know really um well off or whatever but that didn't that still doesn't change the fact that this is not their type of girl or guy according to new edition so you know that just goes to show that you know somebody could be very attractive um but they could lack substance you know there's a lot of people who are very attractive and then when they open their mouth it's just like oh my god you know like so that maybe this is what this person has discovered like damn th th we don't have nothing in common you know, so we got bomb, Baba Ogun. This is your message, beloveds. What did I say about a breakthrough and a victory? And remember, you got the four of wands and the two of wands, which is the six of wands in the outcome. So this is the breakthrough, the major victory, the, the success. This is what you have to look forward to. Somebody's coming towards you, and I feel like this is a blessing. Baba Ogun, thank you, Baba Ogun, for this beautiful message. i shake. So this is beautiful. So you have a major breakthrough and a victory coming in. And I feel like you all know this because you have a sixth sense. You're very psychic, psychic right now. I feel like there's a very strong sensitivity. You know, your, your, your psychic and intuitive um, gifts are very amplified at this time, you know. So trust what you're feeling. That's why, you know, you have to always go with that inner gumption, you know. But there is absolutely an opportunity for you to um, have... A new beginning with someone and I say new beginning um, opposed to um, I'm gonna say new beginning opposed to reconciling because I feel like this is a whole new person that's coming in like they've evolved and they've emerged as someone completely different and new same as you have so they've gone through a major transformation and I feel like it was doing part to them 
doing their internal work, soul searching and realizing um, that something wasn't right and being true to themselves ultimately to make a decision to, to separate from someone. You know what I mean? So this is a very beautiful energy. But that is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the messages resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Until next time, peace.